Hey guys, today I'm filming my most requested video, my perfume collection, um, and ironically it's my most watched video too. Um, I filmed one, um, let's see, over a year ago, and um, yeah, I guess you guys want to see an updated one, so I'm going to give it to you. So I guess some of the ones that I that are repeats that I mentioned in my last video, I'll just kind of quickly go through them so you guys aren't bored. If you guys want to see the older one, I will link it down below. Um, so this one is Stella Sheer. Um, you know, it's like Stella. Everybody knows what that smells like. It smells like roses. Stella Sheer is slightly different. It's a little lighter, a little different, um, but pretty much the same too. Um, I do really like it. I don't wear it that often just because it's one of my older fragrances, but every now and then, every now and then I can, I can uh, get into it. So the notes for the Stella Sheer, it says, opens with notes of plums and grapes with sweet roses in its heart, refreshed with lemon and green apple and placed on the warm base of amber. This one was in my last video too. It's my Oh Lola by Marc Jacobs. My mom got me this a couple years ago and it smells really, really, really good. Um, it just smells really good. Um, it has notes of raspberry, vanilla, peony, pear, and cyclamen. Not sure what that one is. But yeah, so it's like a fruity floral. Which is so not my style, but this one just smells good. It smells good. This one's an older one too. I love it. Okay, I don't care. I just don't care what anybody says. Some people really hate this fragrance and a select few love it and I'm one of them. Get over it. I don't wear it that often because most people I work with hate it, so I don't really wear it that that much you know like if I do people will be like ew who's wearing angel and I'll be like ew who is that <laughs> it's not me angel has notes of bergamot hedione helional this is a bad idea I don't know how to pronounce any of these words honey dewberry red berries vanilla caramel patchouli chocolate and coumarin this is another one that was um, in the last video. This is Marc Jacobs Gardenia. It's kind of, they're calling it, I guess it's an eau de toilette. Yeah, but for some reason it just doesn't last that long on the skin. So I don't really use it, but the bottle is just gorgeous. I can't stand it. So, um, yeah, this I got this because, I don't know, I love the bottle. And it smells just like the original Marc Jacobs perfume which I wore for several years and um, they really smell like exactly exactly the same. Um, it says green notes, musk, and gardenia um, but I wouldn't buy this one again. I would just buy the original um, fragrance because it lasts longer on the skin. But God, it's This is the original Michael Kors. Um, I love this one as well. It's an old classic. I don't wear it that much anymore, but when I do, I get a lot of compliments on it. I need to start rotating, you know? I should wear a different perfume every day because these guys, they don't get enough play. It's a shame. So the notes for this one is Dewey Freesia, Tamarine, Chinese Osmanthus, Incense, Fresh Tuberose, White Wings Peony, Blue Oris, Aram Lilies, Cashmere Woods, Musk Vetiver, and Haiti. This is a really old one that I that I never wear. I don't love it, but it's it's okay and it's and it's decent. Um, and I would wear it. It's it's the Chloe collection 2005 and I got this because I was obsessed with the you know the popular Chloe at the time but at the time that I wore it it wasn't so popular just so you know the notes for this Chloe are passion fruit pear tuberose moist gardenia tuberose moist wood 
birch and musk this is another old one this is by D&G it's number 10 La Rue de la Fortune I don't know what that means but um, it smells really good I wore this for I would say most of 2011 um, this was like my signature scent as you can see there's only a little bit left so I only wear it every once in a while it's like it's such a nostalgic scent like when you wear something for like a certain period of time and then you smell it again it just brings you back to that time <laughs> um, those notes include tuberose, gardenia, jasmine, benzoin, and patchouli I'm putting this one on now this one is by Kiehl's and it's the aromatic blends Big Leaf and Sage. I don't really wear this one too much. I really just keep it around for the scent because it reminds me of my grandfather. They discontinued these aromatic um, blends, so they're going to be uh, hard to get eventually. Um, but this one is a stimulating fusion of Fig Leaf and Sage with underlying hints of bergamot, citron, and thyme. So it's just kind of herbal, but there's like a sweetness to it. Next, I have this little guy of Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. Um, the description is a sexy, fresh oriental fragrance recalls the irrepressible spirit of the young Coco Chanel, the most powerful, concentrated, and long lasting form of fragrance, the fullest expression of the perfume's art, the most elegant way to wear fragrance. Blah, blah, blah. You don't care about that. Um, it doesn't say the notes. Here we go. Top notes are orange, mandarin orange, orange blossom, and bergamot. Middle notes are mimosa, mimos, jasmine, Turkish rose, and ylang ylang. Base notes are tonka bean, patchouli, opopanax, vanilla, vetiver, and white musk. That's a lot. So. I mean, I would just suggest going to a Chanel counter and smelling this. It's nice. It's a, it's like a floral, but, but it's more complicated than that. I quite like it. This is a newer fragrance to my collection. Um, this is Gucci Flora Eau Fresh, which um, is like a different version from the original Gucci Flora. It smells very similar, but there's a slight difference. Let me see if I can pull up the notes here. I love this smell. It's very floral, but it's kind of sweet too. It just smells delicious. Um, the notes are citrus accords, kumquat, peony, rose, osmanthus, pink pepper, sandalwood, patchouli. The style is playful, flirty, no wait, playful, fruity, and floral. This is Boyfriend. It's it's a celebrity perfume. I feel so embarrassed to own a celebrity perfume, but um, I really like it. It's like the bottle's stupid and like cheesy, and so is the name, but really, I just like the smell. Um, this just in. It's been discontinued. Good thing I have so much left. Um, but they describe it as warm and woody with a hint of amber. This has been a favorite of mine this year. As you can see, I've used about half of it. Um, this is Trish McAvoy's Mandarin and Ginger Lily. It is such a good, clean, crisp, kind of citrusy scent. Um, the notes are iced mandarin, bergamot splash, pink pepper, ginger lily blossoms, white tea accord, vetiver, blonde wood, skin musk. This is definitely Keith's favorite of my whole collection, um, and for good reason. It's just, it's just a really unique, clean scent. This is a very, um, one of my prized possessions of my perfume collection. I don't wear it that often, because Jo Malone is quite expensive, um, but I love, love this perfume. It's English Paranfrasia. And the notes are 
Probably some English pear and fruit in there somewhere. It says, pear in the moment of perfect ripeness has crispy structure of skin and juicy fruit. Pear is combined with uh, quince, which introduces honey sweetness and is surrounded with white freesia and wild climbing rose. The base of the composition is created of green, fresh, and sour nuances of rhubarb along with warm and subtle aromas of patchouli, amber, and white musk that stay in a trail. Um, when you first spray it, I think it smells kind of like red wine. This is Malin and Getz Rum Tonic. It's an eau de toilette, or it says 12% eau de toilette. Um, it's just like a light, a light um, f fragrance, I guess. Um, but it smells so good. There's like a spicy, like ambery smell, but it's like sweet at the same time. Um, I have like two of this candle, um, and I just, I'm obsessed with it. Let me see if I can pull up the notes for this. Okay, bergamot and plum, middle notes of rum and leather, dry down of amber, patchouli, and milk. That sounds delicious. This is probably my most prized possession of my whole perfume collection because it's probably the most expensive. And I just love, love, love it. It's Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille from his um, signature collection. It is so good. Um, let me look up the notes here for you. The notes are ginger, tobacco leaves, anise, coriander, tobacco flower, clove, spices, fruit, wood, sap, benzoin, vanilla, and tonka bean. I want to read the description because it's amazing. A modern take on an old world men's club. A smooth oriental tobacco vanille opens immediately with opulent essences of tobacco leaf and aromatic spice notes. The heart unfolds with creamy tonka bean, tobacco flower, vanilla, and, and cacao, and finishes with a dry fruit accord enriched with sweet wood sap. Next, I have Chloe. This one's so old, I really don't wear it that much because everybody wears Chloe. It smells really good though, so I won't get rid of it. Um, but do I? I don't even need. Do I need to read the notes? I guess I will. You guys know what it smells like though. <clears throat> so the notes of um, Chloe are pink peony, freesia, lychee, magnolia flower, lily of the valley, rose, cedarwood, amber, and honey. My next fragrance is this little guy. It's a little travel purse spray and it's by Diptyque and it's called 34. And I love this scent. It's a unisex scent. Um, it actually, actually is quite masculine in my opinion and the notes actually surprise me because it's, mm, it's not what it smells like. The notes are fresh, green, and spicy accords, damp mosses, crumbled blackcurrant leaves, sun-dried fig leaves. I mean, I guess. It's really just quite spicy and masculine. Next, I have this little rollerball by Charlotte Ronson. It's called Julia, and it just smells like sunscreen, and that's why I bought it. I love it. Oh, my beloved, my beloved black orchid. This is probably my all-time favorite fragrance. I will always have this. Okay, the notes of my dear black orchid are are bergamot, citrus, mandarin, black gardenia, jasmine, ylang ylang, lotus wood, orchid, spicy floral accord, uh, Tom Ford black orchid. Patchouli, sandalwood, incense, and vanilla. The style is luxurious, sensual, and timeless. Absolutely. Which then brings me to this guy. This is Tom Ford White Patchouli. This one I love too, and it smells so different. It's kind of, it's still really spicy, but it's not as deep and like sensual. It's 
more like crisp. Um, if that makes sense. The notes are, obviously, there's a base of patchouli. And then the other notes are peony, mandarin, bergamot, jasmine, rose absolute, coriander, ambret seed, sandalwood, incense, and golden amber. That one smells so good. This is a fragrance oil that um, a coworker and a good friend got me. Um, it's called bon Bonfire, and her friend actually makes these oils and it's called Akima Botanicals and I'll post it down below. But this one's called Bonfire and she knows I love those smoky woodsy scents and that's just exactly what this smells like. I don't know what the notes are but um, it smells just like burning fire or burning wood I mean and I love it. <laughs> Another one of my all-time faves. This is by Toka and it's the Bridget perfume and it's supposed to be named after Bridget Bardot and the notes are ginger, rhubarb, papaya, Moroccan rose, iris, saffron, sandalwood, musk, panettone accord and the style is chic, free, and glamorous. Oh, it smells so good. It's just, it's like warm but it's like girly at the same time and the bottle is like a work of art. It's beautiful. I have a little Kai rollerball, which is just pretty much gardenia, so you guys know what gardenia smells like. I have this little guy from like a free gift of Clinique Happy. I mean, I don't really wear it that much and it's such an old scent, but like, it smells so good. Like you can't deny that. And it just really like brings me back to childhood when like this came out and everybody wore it. It does make you happy, I will admit. Let me see if I can pull up the notes here. Ruby red grapefruit, boysenberry bush flower, Hawaiian wedding flower. Fresh, light, and uplifting, I'd say. This is my newest edition. This is by Cartier and it's called De Lune. It smells so good. It's so like clean and fresh and all that. Here are the notes. Um, a bouquet of flowers picked in the moonlight. Luminous top notes, pink pepper, juniper berries, a bunch of white flowers, honeysuckle, wild rose, cyclamen, bindweed, lily of the valley, and musky and woody base notes. Um, can you guys smell it? It smells, it just smells really clean and fresh. I love it. So that is my perfume collection. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's been long anticipated, so I hope it was everything you hoped it would be and more. Um, you know, I'll, I'll continue updating you guys as I get new, new fragrances because I will forever be getting new fragrances because I am an addict. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Comment down below what you guys think and what your favorite fragrances are or anything that you think I would like. Um, I'm always up for smelling new things. Thanks guys. Have a good one.